hi guys welcome back to my channel please ignore the state of me i feel like i've been in these clothes for about a week and i don't even know what's going on with the hair but i am getting some stuff done in the house ready to have a new stair and landing carpet next monday so i don't know when this is going to go up but i thought i would take you with me because there's so much that i want to do um i've kind of been putting this off for a while because we've having i don't know if you know this but we are boarding out the loft as well and so because we were having so many work so much work going on like up and down the stairs i haven't bothered getting the stairs and landing carpet done because i really want like a light i'm having like a really light cream i know i'm crazy <laughs> but we don't have shoes upstairs so i don't see the problem i used to have a light cream carpet the only reason i replaced it was because the cats ruined the bottom step the dad bear who bless him is no longer with us um so we had a new carpet put down and i'll show you the issue so please do not judge so ignore the crap on the stairs does everybody not have crap on the stairs anyway so i don't very rarely show my hall and stairs carpet and this is why we had this put down believe it or not this has only been down a couple of years but if you have cats do not have this style of carpet this is what it looked like when it was first laid and this is it now i've tried to i've cut it so many times i've like given it a haircut and stuff but the cats just pull the threads out it is completely awful and it's the same down here as well it's just horrendous look how what it was like and what it is like now i've also got to repaint all this um like woodwork as well but we had all down here done it's a mess ignore but we had all down here done we obviously had a new floor and we had all the cladding done and then i just hate it that people come through our front door and it's so lovely in all the rooms apart from this horrible stair carpet and the door is directly opposite it so it's just embarrassing like i just hate it so my mum and dad are buying us this carpet for our anniversary um and i went and finally booked it in last week however now i need to tackle this so a couple things need to be done first of all this bracket on my handrail as um something in here is broken and they've discontinued these brackets in b&q which is really annoying so i've got to try and figure out how i'm going to fix that rail i've also got to repaint all up here let me see if i can put this light on but can you see how the kids have like as they've walked down the wall they've just well i say kids lucas you can see the dirt patches right and i've tried to clean it off um i've tried loads of different things but it just pulls the paint off and it's the same things happened on the cladding as well so instead i'm going to paint all this with like kitchen and bathroom paint which is wipeable and then this one is this color if i don't know if you can see on camera but the bottom is like a summer linen it's what we've got throughout the house it's what's on the walls in there um and i've got again a kitchen and bathroom one so i'm gonna paint all this um again i mean look at this it's embarrassing but i can't clean it off like i say just the cloth comes off white so that's all got to be redone and then this paintwork this up here i mean some of it could need a bit of a clean but you can see how some of this is peeled off so i'm gonna I have to sand all this back as well and then take my radiator why is there just crap everywhere i mean welcome to my life that's for the bin ignore that um but yes yeah, so we're having this carpet done i also need to move all these plasterboards out my bathroom which have been there for nearly two years now and they're really starting to irritate me <laughs> um because i do eventually want to get the same vinyl in here to match downstairs so it all look at that wall it's just embarrassing it's just disgusting anyway i've also got to paint this cladding up here because it is still gray and across here is still gray and i'm painting that the same as that cladding which i've already done and then here i just want to change this i mean i love this photo frame 
but I'm going to take it down and put something else there. And then down here, once it's painted, I've got, I've wanted to do it for ages. I've got loads and loads of frames and I really want to do like a gallery wall down there with all like the children's pictures and stuff. Leave some open, maybe put some prints in some so we can switch it out. Um, and then here needs to be repainted as well because I don't know what happened here, but if you can see this kind of line, this is matte paint and this is satin. So I don't know what happened. Like maybe I was having a bit of a midlife crisis, but there's two different white paints. So that means I've got to repaint all of this as well, which is gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, all of this needs to be repainted, which also, although this is actually okay, but look at this. I mean, it's just disgusting. Don't judge me, I just haven't <laughs> cleaned it because I know I'm going to like sand it down. Um, but yeah, you can even see up here, the carpet, like this has just been hoovered and it looks a mess. Um, so I cannot wait to get all that done. Here's what the plan is. Um, fix handrail, sand woodwork, paint all the cladding and walls and get some kind of frames on the wall. Um, I don't know what to put on this one either, so... I'm going to replace that, right. well, we're keeping the radiator cover, but the top will put, like, um, some different wood on, because that's all when we used to have grey in the house. This is, like, the last bit to be changed. And then I might change this mirror as well. I think different. I don't know yet. I'm going to have a look on Pinterest. Um, and, yeah, that's about this week. So I'll take you with me. Those are the plans. This is the before. And um, let's see what I can do. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along Right, ignore me because I've been sanding But um, welcome to the junk room yet again Like I don't know how many times I have actually emptied this room and it's just full again like, kind of what is going on up here this is like our wardrobe room if you haven't seen it before we've got like built-in wardrobes with mirror doors there and i've got like two packs carcasses with drawers doors on here which are mats now um there's so much i need to say about this room but basically this is room is going to be our bedroom again so this used to be our bedroom we moved into our bedroom that it is now because we had an extension and right last minute of plans they changed um our room layout because of planning and a stupid um 45 degree angle rule which don't even get me started i'm absolutely livid about it because it turned what was going to be a lovely room into a really awkward shape now i'm very lucky i and we are very lucky that we've got four bedrooms here and um, we live in an area of the country that houses are relatively cheap where we live and it was a reposition that i bought and I've done it up and I'm very, very lucky. But anyway, that's just going me on going on a tangent. After we've we've actually been in that room for probably about I want to say about four or five years now. In fact, even longer than that, um, because Lucas is four. So probably about six years we've been in there now. But it isn't ideal. It's like not a great shape to sleep in. I have to go to bed like like this. And there's not a lot of room. It just doesn't really feel like a great space. Whereas this room has got loads of floor space that's never used because it's a wardrobe room. And so it just gets full of crap over and over again. Now, I did actually tidy all this out, but then this happened because at Christmas, if you remember, we did the boys' games room. So it just meant that everything just got shoved in here. It was really last minute. Then we had COVID and then this has happened so anyway i need to empty this room because we need to get the plasterboards up the loft and we cannot do that without moving this because the loft door is there so 
this is my job today or tonight it is now half past six so i'm going to be getting the kids to bed fairly soon but i thought we'd just make a start on it and see what's in here there are a few things that can go to charity a few things that i might be able to put away because just you know when some things just don't have homes so that this year that is my goal to try and make everything in the house have a home i want to create a boot room by the back door kind of thing i want so we can put like all the shoes and stuff there anyway i'm going to lower you down and then i'm going to start tidying in here oh we'll go from there wow just well so much in here but it is like 20 past 10 so I am now going to bed hi guys so I just thought I'd pop, pop back on with an update number one please don't judge me I'm still in the same clothes that I've been in for about four days I am I am showering and changing if I say that I haven't washed my hair either and you see this spot here it's not even a spot it's the fact that I squeezed my face to create this because you know, why not? <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd give you an update because it's not going well in the Dudley household. Number one, we've got a massive storm on the way. Storm Dudley is finished. Storm Eunice is coming tonight. Um, so I've just been to B&Q and bought everything that I needed to get because this is the situation upstairs. Are you ready? So we started taking up the carpet. I filmed a little bit of taking the carpet up on my iPhone because my camera was downstairs. We had a broken floorboard and Matt was like, oh, we need to uh, replace that. I've gone to B&Q. Um, first thing is the floorboards come in at three metre lengths and I bought it and then they said, oh, we don't cut those in store. So I've then had to buy a handsaw and saw it on the car park in a storm. So if that wasn't enough, I've got home and it's not just one floorboard that we're replacing, apparently. Um, I've just come home to this. So, uh, I'm going to guess that Matt got a bit carried away with the multi-tool. Because there are three burnt out multi-tool heads and I have no floorboards. So I'm going to guess, Jacob, you dare get in the floor. On one positive though, our underlay is okay. So I've been able to ring the shop and cancel the underlay. But, um, yeah. So let me go and show you what I've bought from Wix's. Not Wix's, B&Q. So, uh, handrail needs to be replaced. A couple of things. I love this stainless steel handrail. I am going to sell this. Um, but this bracket is coming off the wall here. Can you see? Um, so we need to replace that but i love this stainless steel handle but matt isn't a fan so i've just been and bought this one you can't see in here our hall light is broken um but this is like an oak handrail now this was a hundred pounds so it's not the cheapest but it was the soft wood was 45 pounds so this was twice the price but it's contemporary white oak so at least it's more solid and it's smooth which means no splinters and then I've just had to go and get loads of hardboard cut and this is my horrendous sewing attempt on the car park try and saw on a car park I mean who asked you what happened here I hasn't seen these yet it's probably going to kill me so yeah I bought some floorboard some hardboard we're going to put some hardboard over the top of the floorboard because we have really old floorboards in this house and then I've got my handrail and then I've had to buy new brackets. So these are the brackets for the rail because they're different. Like, so our handrail is only 40 
mil like that and this one is 56 oh so you have to buy these that go underneath um so i've just had to go back because i bought um i forgot and i only bought two so i've just had to drive all the way back to get a third one so i've got three of those and then i've also bought the end caps and then some um rollers now i always get these from wilco's normally because this one's three pound fifty and they're only like a pound in wilco but i needed some because i've got to pack those are the kids because i've got to paint tonight so that is that and then i've just bought in from our shared outside some um this is kitchen paint in white so i'm going to use that for the white bit of the walls i've got some this is my old faithful quick dry satin wood this is amazing for like your woodwork because i hate gloss because it goes cream it goes yellow because it's oil based whereas this is water based so it is got a sheen to it but it doesn't yellow so that's awesome and then this is the color that i have throughout the house which is the summer linen but this is the easy care washable and tough and this is what i'm going to repaint the cladding with because our cladding at the moment is just in normal emulsion and it just gets so dirty with the boys so i'm going to use those Ooh, really dark and that is the plan so yeah that's what i've just bought from wix's i hadn't uh, not wix's b and q but i'm just had an absolute shock of the lifetime because it came to 215 pounds and i was like oh my gosh and then obviously i realized because the hand was 100 pounds so yeah that's the plan but i think the what the the wooden handrail is going to look really nice in here and i love the stainless steel one but i'm thinking i might be able to sell this and get something for it anyway see how much i can get even if i can get 20 quid for the handrail and the brackets then it's towards it isn't it so that's the plan matt's with the client at the moment and as soon as he's finished with that client we're going to crack on with the floorboards um because i really need a shower and an early night okay so it's a couple of days later and i'm still like i've managed to sort out quite a lot this is probably worse than it looks because everything is just still spread if i put everything into a pile it probably wouldn't be a lot but you can actually see things now <laughs> so it's definitely a lot better um and then out here we've got the sexy underlay down i'm gonna go and paint this now I've taken everything off the walls. We've taken the radiator cover off. This is the paint that I'm going to do the cladding with. So, summer linen is the shade we've got everywhere downstairs in the cladding. But this is the washable and tough one. So, I'm going to do the cladding, like, as much as I can. And then also try and do the stairs with it if I can as well. And then I've got to repaint the walls. Now, I'm hoping that... I'm just trying to yeah i've filled all this here and i've got to sand all that down um, and give everything a bit of a clean but that's what i'm going to do now we eventually do want to get a new floor in here but <laughs> one step at a time juliet one step at a time Second of all, been bit. Thought it was a spot. This is a spot. Been bit by something in the loft yesterday. Um, at least my face has gone down a little bit, but 
wow i'm looking hot anyway um who cares just thought i'd give you an update so jacob is i've just opened the loft door are you all right jacob Um, just go clean in here so we've just moved all the plasterboards up to the loft which is why this is like this but how much better is this it looks worse than it is I've still got to like tidy around a bit um, but on the grand scheme of things got like the tiniest bit to do now and then in the bathroom right so our bedroom's a bit of a mess because I've shoved loads of washing and stuff in there to do but look Oh my gosh, I have room in here. I'm just going to move these. I'm going to move them into the loft as well, I think. Um, because they don't need to be in here. But see where this line is? That is where the plasterboards have come to for the last almost two years. So I can't believe I can actually see the floor. But I've like, had to chuck everything that was on top of the plasterboards onto the floor and this is just the mess in here now so i'm going to tidy the bathroom up um see there's like a spade in the bathroom who who does this <laughs> anyway this is a window because this used to be to outside um but now there's just a wall the other side of it but we never took the window out so i'm gonna probably try and fashion that into some kind of cupboard eventually but we're not working on the bathroom because the bathroom's going to change we're changing the floor I need a new bath panel. I'm going to change that tap to one with a one of those things. Like it looks like a telephone, but it's got a shower head on because we haven't got a shower head in the bath, and it's a massive flaw in my opinion because we've got a built-in shower behind here. Um. So yeah, look at the, look the lovely orange underlay. So I've painted everything now, as you will have seen on the last clip, I think. Um. That's Lucas. Lee, Lucas, calm it down. Take up all this carpet, which I'm going to do last because because I don't want to leave the gripper um, exposed as, as little as possible. Um, I've just put this mirror on here, actually. I've just switched it up a little bit. I think it looks really nice on that wall. It used to be above the radiator cover, but I prefer it on that one. But I'm thinking I might get an even bigger mirror. Anyway, I'm going to keep my face off camera as much as possible today because this is horrendous um so yeah just thought i'd give you a bit of an update okay i've only been in like three hours but <laughs> the bathroom's done so i've tidied it all you should have seen the stuff that came off the floor i need to repaint this skirting but i'm going to do that another time i took the blind down and i've just put like this little plant here from another room but i don't like it in here because it's gold and everything in here is silver so I'm going to switch that out, but I don't know what to put in there yet. We'll figure something out. But I've just tied it over here. Put my own aplex out so it looks nice. Clean the bath. Clean the sink. I need to repaint the top of this because it's a bit marked. So I might just do that with satin wood as well. Tied it all down here. And cleaned out the shower. And yeah, just... This is looking so much better in here now. So at least this room, I can shut the door and it's done. I've kind of hidden the bath toys down the corner. <laughs> I'm thinking of trying to get like some kind of little basket that will fit there. Um, that'll do for now, I'm pretty pleased. And now I'm gonna take the carpet up. <sighs> Wish me luck. Watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars Battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect We are done. Carpet is off and ready for tomorrow. Honestly, guys, this just actually killed me. 
so I'm going to have a shower now and finish my wine because it's Sunday and um, go and kill the kids. <laughs> Only joking, obviously. Just, um, just going to shout at them for being so noisy because oh, they're too mad and I can't take any more. Like, obviously, they're playing lovely, but you know, you just got to get things done. You know, like, please, for the love of God, shut up, man. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, here we go. What do you guys think the carpet is in? It looks a little bit more darker on camera. Actually, it's really light. Um, I don't think I can get it on camera, but I'm really in love with it. It is so soft. We've still got to change the handrail, and that is still here um but we're not going to do that just yet because um i've got to sell this and so i've got to take some pictures of it and then i'm just going to leave it for a little while um but yeah i just wanted to show you because i'm so pleased i'll show you what it looks like up on the landing um see um, i've just popped the radiator cover back and i've just taken the vinyl off here because it was like a gray vinyl don't know whether I'm going to revinyl it or I might just paint that white. Um, I think I'm going to do that, just paint it white to match the radiator cover. Um, because then I don't, but any advice, welcome. So, our landing is like, let's see if I can take it this way. We've got like doors on every single wall. Um, here I've put the mirror back on this wall that was over there, but I don't know what to do on these walls. So we can't really put anything there because it's like a landing between the two rooms. That is, we're gonna switch these two rooms around. So that's our bedroom at the moment and that's our wardrobe room, but we're gonna switch them over. Um, See, so yeah, I've put the mirror there for now and we can't really put anything there. And then I used to have the washing basket here, but I'm not gonna put that back. I'm gonna leave that in that room, I think. Um, it's mine, we want all new carpets now though, because this is really, really old, like this carpet that's in our bedrooms. I had that when I first had the house, um, but we could only afford to get this done for now and there's no point really yet. So I'm just in love with it though. It looks like a new home. It is so clean and fresh looking. But to go around here, I'm thinking of just putting some white pictures, white picture frames with family photos in. Although I do actually like it really plain and simple. We haven't got a lot of like family photos around the house and I thought that'd be a really nice place to put them um but yeah i'm really pleased how it's turned out the carpet fitter did knock some of my paint off which i'm not happy about but i just need to touch that up um and need to touch this little bit up as well where he's obviously knocked it but other than that what do you guys think i'm so pleased i i'm really really happy with it i just want to sit on here and chill now but yeah that's it guys and I just thought I'd quickly show you the handrail is in now and it looks amazing. It's finished it off so, so well. It's really difficult to show you because of where it is, like to get the light, but it is so nice. I'm so pleased and I think it's so much nicer than the silver one. I loved the silver one, don't get me wrong, but number one, it was broke anyway. But second of all, like, I just feel like this looks like a lot more solid, a lot more, I don't know, just better quality, so yeah. Really pleased with how that's finished it off. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon. stairs and land well that is the stairs and landing done i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care bye you said my world on fire. Your